Well, the Red Cross says humanitarian aid is now a $17 billion venture, but do doling out the dollars is not as easy as it may seem. A delegation of the International Committee of the Red Cross, or ICRC, recently met in Washington to talk about the challenges facing the organization when it comes to funding choices. VOA's Caroline Turner has more. Former U.S. Congress member Jane Harmon is now president of the Woodrow Wilson Center. She says the International Red Cross is vital. Soft power diplomacy delivers life-saving help to desperate people and improves the image of America and the international community. It is an invaluable foreign policy tool. Seven of the ICRC humanitarian efforts are in Africa. We can't forget places like South Sudan, where 3.7 million people one third of the population are facing starvation and the Central African Republic where nearly 640,000 have fled their homes. Of the 15 biggest ICRC operations, seven are in Africa. We can and should do more. Our security depends on it and the ICRC is a necessary part of the equation. President of the ICRC, Peter Maurer, says that when conflicts are not contained, the contagion spreads. We have seen the conflict in Mali spreading south into Niger and Nigeria. We have seen the conflict in Central African Republic spreading into the neighboring country and destabilizing countries which have been stable beforehand. We have seen South Sudan and Sudan in in a protracted conflict. Climate change is intertwined with the escalation of conflict, according to Maurer. If I look again at the Sahel, uh, it started as a water crisis, which is a clear effect of climate change, of lack of grassland uh, to feed the respective populations, nurturing conflict, moving from conflict into more difficulties to service the population. So you are in a vicious circle. The ICRC can't substitute for nation states. The goal is to strengthen infrastructures so countries can help themselves. S Somalia is our biggest food relief operation worldwide. And for a long time we have been forced to do substitution in Somalia because the market uh, and the farmers do not produce anything because of the conflict. Maurer says humanitarian efforts cannot be politicized. We do not want to have humanitarian action which is servicing political goals. We want humanitarian action servicing needs, assistance and protection needs of people. The ICRC engages with bad actors. Maurer says it takes time to make progress. We were able to have a consensus from them for a humanitarian uh, operation which fed 500,000 people and managed 10 clinics and a hospital in the north of Mali. So seemingly impossible but nevertheless possible if, if you try in certain circumstances to engage with those actors. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover during the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.